Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I have another family favorite recipe. It's called fried fish, rantotol. So what you will need for this recipe is 900 grams of fish fillet, fillets or six, ha six half pieces of fish fillet, three cups of vegetable oil, three eggs, three quarter cups of milk, one cup of flour, two cups of breadcrumbs, ground breadcrumbs, and one to two teaspoons of salt. So what I did was I cut um, fish, the fish fillets in half and I washed them thoroughly and then I dried them off with a paper towel and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle them with uh, salt before I start putting them into the, um, the flour and the egg uh, mixture in the uh, breadcrumbs. So it's going to salt it and I usually use uh, sea salt for this, so just preparing it. And I ended up with about um, about uh, eight pieces here from the 900 grams. So I cut them in half because they, they were fairly large uh, pieces. So I've got about two teaspoons of um, sea salt here for this, uh, just put it uh, sprinkle on both sides. And then uh, what I'm going to, what I did was I um, added three quarter cups of milk to three eggs and I briskly beat it with a fork. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip each piece of fish into separate dishes of flour, egg mixture and breadcrumbs. Then I'm going to pat it down, each piece with uh, fish with my hands. And um, then I'm going to place it into a... Um, place it into the oil. So what I've got, so I've got three cups of vegetable oil on the stove ready. So I'm going to fry them as soon as I put the bread and the flour and the uh, egg mixture on it. So we'll begin by doing that. And so I've got all this prepared here, ready to go. So we want to start off with the flour first and then the egg mixture and then the breadcrumb breadcrumbs and then what I do is when they're, the fish are ready I put a, I have a plate ready with paper towels so that when they're finished um, being fried then um, the um, oil drips off them and then I put them into a uh, sort of like a heat resistant dish and I put the I have the oven preheated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm keeping the fish warm and I've got some potatoes um, cooking on the stove, red potatoes, and I'm going to make parsley potatoes. Now I have a recipe on my website for uh, parsley potatoes, so I'm going to be making parsley potatoes with the fish today for dinner. So what I do is I first uh, dip my uh, fish into the uh, flour then I dip it into the um, egg mixture and then I dip it into the um, breadcrumbs Make sure you want to get lots of um, breadcrumbs on there, like so. Ready to go into the uh, oil. Now you probably want to do up a few, about four or five of them, and put them in at the same time so that they cook at the same time. And um, you cook them until they're done. Well. And then I'll do uh, one more for you. So first you start off with the um, flour. So you cover this with the fish with flour on both sides. And then you 
put it into the uh, egg mixture. Tip it into the egg mixture. And then into the breadcrumbs. So flour, egg mixture, and breadcrumbs. So you do that with all as many pieces as you can. And then you put, put them into the um, three cups of vegetable oil and then you fry them and then you put them into onto a plate with a paper towel and you let the oil drain off of them and then you put them into a heat resistant dish and you put them into the oven and keep them warm until you serve them to your guests. So I'm just going to do one more for you. And I'm just going to continue doing this until I have all of this done. So the process is flour. So you put your, your fish into the flour. I'm just going to move this aside. So this is flour. And then I want to make sure that you cover it well. And then next is the egg mixture, egg and milk mixture. And then we have uh, the breadcrumbs. Put that into the breadcrumbs. Now these are pre-ground breadcrumbs that I bought at the uh, at my uh, local grocery store so you can use day old bread or dry up some bread and in the oven and then uh, grind, grind, grind it down so I'm going to continue doing this until I have all the fish covered with the bread and the flour and the egg mixture and then I'm going to come back and show you what this great recipe looks like welcome back again to Rinka's Kitchen I had on the stove some uh, fish that I fried fried up in uh, three cups of vegetable oil. So, and it's called rantotol in Hungarian. And so, what I'd like to show you is this great recipe. Um, all ready. And of course, I use the flour, egg, and breadcrumb mixture, ground breadcrumb mixture, and then I fried it in in uh, three cups of vegetable oil. I put it into the oven uh, at 200 degrees Fahrenheit to keep it warm. So when before you're serving it to your guests, you can just keep it warm. Make sure that you don't cover the fish, otherwise the um, breadcrumbs will get soggy. That's just a tip that I'd like to, to mention to you. And also, um, when you're taking the fish out of the uh, frying pan, make sure that you have a plate with a uh, paper towel on it so that you drain off the uh, excess oil before you put it into one of these uh, heat res resistant dishes. So I'm going to show you what this great recipe looks like with uh, parsley potatoes and I do have a recipe on my website for parsley potatoes and what I did was I cut up some uh, pickles and I cut them up into sort of like round wedges but you can also t make up a um, cucumber salad so I do have a cucumber salad or cholamade which is a mixed pickle recipe uh, on site that you could serve with the fish so this is a great dish this was a very popular dish with my uh, grandmother and my mother's family and um, I also have another great recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you a fish recipe that is baked in the oven and that's when my uh, father would go on his uh, fishing trips and bring back, bring back uh, rainbow trout and my mother would clean it and we'd uh, she has a great uh, recipe to go with that uh, rainbow trout or any kind of uh, trout uh, fish that, that that's like that boned tr uh, fish um, that you can uh, bake in the oven so if you have any questions or or uh, comments about the uh, recipe please feel free to contact me at irene at erinkaskitchen.com or erinkaskitchen.com. Until next time, bon appetit, yo et vajat.